Grace Adeyemi and Colin Zakantola once shared a love so intense that they believed nothing could ever come between them. They were young, full of dreams, and deeply in love during their university days. However, their relationship wasn't perfect. Grace often felt insecure, plagued by doubts about Colin's faithfulness. She had no proof, but every small action, every missed call, and every unexplained absence made her believe that Collins was cheating on her. She confronted him several times, and each time, their arguments grew louder and more painful. Collins tried to reassure her, but the trust between them was eroding. Eventually, the accusations became too much. Harsh words were exchanged, words neither of them could take back. Their once beautiful relationship crumbled under the weight of mistrust and anger. The breakup was messy, leaving both Grace and Collins emotionally wounded. They parted ways, carrying the scars of their failed love. The bitterness lingered, and for a long time, neither of them wanted to look back at the memories they had once cherished. It seemed like their paths were destined never to cross again, and they both moved forward with their lives, trying to forget what once was. Years passed after their breakup, and Grace Adeyemi's life took a different trajectory from Colin Zakantola's. Grace had poured all her energy into building her career. Determined to succeed, she worked tirelessly, climbing the corporate ladder with fierce determination. Eventually, her hard work paid off, and she became the CEO of a thriving company. Her business acumen, combined with her intelligence and focus, earned her the respect of many in Nigeria's corporate world. She was known as a force to be reckoned with, a woman who let nothing stand in her way. Grace had built an empire, and she seemed unstoppable. On the other hand, Collins had faced a much tougher journey. Despite being a brilliant student, the job market was unforgiving. He sent out countless applications, attended numerous interviews, and faced rejection after rejection. Each setback chipped away at his confidence. He began to question his abilities, wondering if he would ever find his place in the professional world. His struggle wasn't just with finding a job, it was with keeping hope alive. While Grace thrived, Collins grappled with self-doubt, trying to find his way in a world that seemed determined to shut him out. Fate has a strange way of bringing people back together, even when they least expect it. After years of struggle, Collins Akintola finally landed a job at a prestigious company. It was a glimmer of hope in what had been a dark period for him. The job wasn't just an opportunity to rebuild his career, it was a chance to prove to himself that he was still capable. Collins didn't know much about the firm's leadership when he joined. He was just grateful for the opportunity and eager to make the most of it. The CEO, Grace Adeyemi, was away on a business trip when he was hired, so he never had the chance to meet her in person. Little did he know that he was working for the very woman he had hurt years ago. Despite the CEO's absence, Collins quickly became a valuable asset to the company. His innovative ideas and problem-solving skills made a significant impact. In fact, one of his ideas saved the company from losing a major deal. His hard work didn't go unnoticed. His colleagues respected him, and his superiors began to see him as someone with immense potential. Months passed, and Collins had settled into his new job, unaware of the storm that was about to come. The entire office buzzed with excitement and nervous energy when word spread that the CEO, Grace Adeyemi, was returning from her business trip abroad. There was a sense of anticipation in the air. Some of his colleagues spoke of her with admiration, while others were cautious, warning Collins that she was a tough leader who didn't tolerate mistakes. Collins, however, wasn't worried. He was confident in his abilities and proud of his contributions to the company. He had no idea that his world was about to be turned upside down. The day finally came when Grace returned to the office. Collins was in the middle of a meeting when she walked in. As he glanced up, his heart skipped a beat. There she was, the same grace he had loved and lost all those years ago. 
His mind raced as a flood of memories washed over him. Could she possibly remember him? How could she not? The memories of their breakup, the pain they had caused each other, and the unresolved feelings all came rushing back at once. Grace hadn't expected to see Collins again. When she walked into the office that day, she was focused on the tasks ahead, ready to get back to work after her trip. But the moment her eyes landed on Collins, everything else faded into the background. She froze, and for a brief moment, she couldn't believe what she was seeing. Memories she had long buried came flooding back. The love they had shared, the painful arguments, and the bitter breakup that had left her heart broken. She had worked so hard to move on, to build a successful life, and yet here he was, standing in her company as if fate had played a cruel joke on her. Grace's emotions were a mix of anger, confusion, and hurt. Without thinking, she acted on impulse. She called her manager and demanded that Collins be fired immediately. She didn't offer an explanation, and her tone left no room for negotiation. She just wanted him gone, out of her life once again. The sight of him stirred up too many emotions, emotions she wasn't ready to confront. For Grace, seeing Collins was like reopening an old wound, and she wanted to close it as quickly as possible. The manager, caught off guard by Grace's sudden demand, hesitated. He had worked closely with Collins over the past few months and had seen firsthand how valuable he had become to the company. Collins wasn't just an employee, he was an asset. His innovative ideas had saved the firm from a major loss, and his work ethic was unmatched. The manager couldn't understand why Grace wanted to fire him so abruptly, but he knew he had to tread carefully. He approached Grace with caution, trying to reason with her. He explained how Collins had contributed significantly to the company's success and how it would be a mistake to let him go. Grace, still reeling from the shock of seeing Collins, wasn't in the mood to listen. But the manager's words made her pause. She had built her empire on logic and strategy, not on impulsive decisions driven by emotions. After much persuasion, she grudgingly agreed to let Collins stay. However, she made it clear that she wouldn't make things easy for him. If he thought he could coast through this job because of their past, he was sorely mistaken. Grace was determined to maintain control, even if it meant being harsher than usual. From the moment Grace decided to let Collins stay, she made sure to keep her distance. Her attitude toward him was cold and unyielding. She assigned him the most difficult tasks, ones that seemed impossible to complete within the given deadlines. She scrutinized his work with a critical eye, pointing out every minor flaw, and rarely offered any praise. Whenever she did speak to him, it was usually to scold him or give instructions. Grace's demeanor made it clear that she hadn't forgiven him for the past, and she wasn't about to let him forget it either. Collins, however, was determined not to let her harsh treatment affect him. He had worked too hard to get to this point, and he wasn't about to give up now. He threw himself into his work, refusing to let Grace's coldness distract him. He stayed focused, completing the tasks she assigned with diligence and precision. Despite her efforts to break his resolve, Collins remained unwavering. Slowly but surely, his dedication and persistence began to chip away at Grace's hardened exterior. Although she continued to criticize him, she couldn't deny that he was performing exceptionally well under the pressure she was putting on him. Despite Grace's determination to keep her distance, she found herself struggling with her emotions. She had tried to maintain a professional demeanor, but Colin's unwavering dedication and competence reminded her of the man she had once loved. Each time she called him into her office, pretending it was for work, she found herself looking at him a little longer than necessary. She couldn't help but notice the subtle changes in him, the maturity, the confidence, the resilience. He wasn't the same young man she had known in university. He had grown, just as she had. Grace tried to push these feelings aside, telling herself that it was nothing more than old emotions resurfacing. 
But as the days went by, it became harder to ignore. Her words were still sharp, but her heart wasn't as hardened as it once was. She found herself looking for excuses to interact with Collins, even if it was just to assign him more work. She couldn't explain why, but there was something about being near him that made her feel vulnerable and alive at the same time. Despite her best efforts to remain distant, Grace couldn't deny that she was being drawn to him again, against her own will. One evening, after a significant business deal had been successfully secured, the office was abuzz with excitement. Grace was particularly pleased with the outcome, and the atmosphere was one of celebration. Amidst the euphoria, Grace decided to call Collins to her office. She wanted to personally acknowledge his role in the success of the deal, even though their interactions had been mostly frosty. When Collins arrived, he found Grace in a rare, unguarded moment of happiness. She was beaming, her usual stern demeanor softened by the day's achievements. Overcome by the positive energy, they shared a spontaneous hug, a gesture of celebration and mutual accomplishment. That hug, however, lingered longer than either had intended. As they pulled away from the hug, their faces remained close, and in a moment of unexpected vulnerability, their lips met in a kiss. The kiss was charged with the unresolved emotions and years of separation. It was as if the years of bitterness and pain dissolved in that single, intimate contact. For both Grace and Collins, the kiss was a powerful reminder of the connection they once had and still felt deep inside. The kiss was a revelation for both of them. Grace and Collins were immediately aware of the strength of their old feelings. As they broke apart, they locked eyes, and the depth of their emotions became clear. The kiss had stirred up old memories and feelings, reminding them of the love they had shared. They were both taken aback by the intensity of their emotions, realizing that the bond they had once felt had not entirely disappeared but had merely been dormant. The kiss brought back the warmth and affection they had once shared, and they were left grappling with the realization that their feelings were as strong as ever. Despite the intensity of their emotions, neither Grace nor Collins knew how to proceed. Collins was hesitant, unsure if expressing his love would complicate things further. He worried that admitting his feelings might jeopardize his job or push Grace away. The fear of rejection and the risk of disrupting their professional relationship made him cautious. He was torn between his longing to be honest and his desire to maintain his newfound stability. Grace, on the other hand, was dealing with her own internal conflict. As a CEO, she was accustomed to control and authority. Admitting her feelings first felt like a loss of control, and the thought of appearing vulnerable was daunting. Her pride and the fear of rejection held her back. She wasn't sure if she was ready to expose her true feelings, especially considering their complicated history. The struggle between her emotions and her professional image created a barrier she wasn't sure how to overcome. Days passed, and the tension between Grace and Collins grew more palpable. Collins was caught in a cycle of uncertainty, questioning whether he should confess his feelings or keep them to himself. He was aware of the delicate balance he had to maintain between his personal and professional life. The possibility of losing his job or making things worse if Grace didn't feel the same way weighed heavily on him. Grace, too, was wrestling with her emotions. She wanted to express her feelings but was conflicted by her pride and fear. As the CEO, showing vulnerability felt risky, and she wasn't sure if she could handle the potential fallout of such a confession. Her internal struggle was intense, and she found herself stuck between the desire to be open and the need to protect her pride. Finally, Collins mustered the courage to invite Grace to dinner. It was a simple gesture, but it held significant meaning for both of them. During the dinner, Collins took a deep breath and decided to lay his feelings bare. He spoke openly about his regrets and the lingering love he had for her. His confession was sincere and heartfelt, reflecting the depth of his emotions and the impact Grace had on his life. 
To Colin's surprise, Grace responded with a genuine smile, a rare and heartfelt expression he hadn't seen in years. Her smile conveyed a mix of relief and affection, showing that she, too, had never completely moved on. Grace admitted that she had never stopped caring for Collins, despite the pain of their past. They both recognized that they had changed and grown from their previous selves. They were no longer the same people who had ended their relationship in anger. With this newfound understanding, Grace and Collins decided to embrace their second chance. They acknowledged their past but chose to focus on the future. Their relationship evolved into something stronger and more resilient. As they walked out of the restaurant hand in hand, they felt a renewed sense of hope. They were ready to build a new chapter together, one defined by their growth and shared experiences. The future seemed promising, and they were determined to create something beautiful together, leaving their past behind and focusing on the possibilities ahead.